good good morning. I guess some people would call this good night. <laughs> it's um we're talking about um early morning, very early morning, um Saturday morning, January 29th, 2022. And um, as is my custom, I uh, wasn't sleeping well and I got up and decided to make a video. A couple days ago, we looked at a game Fields of Normandy, a solitaire war game, obviously, by Mike Lambeau. And I hadn't played it or anything. We just looked through it and talked about it a bit. And so today I was going to, I had played it now. I was going to get a little bit more in depth, give you, get, get a little bit more in depth with it. Um, we'll talk about it a little more. Because I was kind of impressed by this game. Uh, and then we might do a short playthrough. Um, this game. This is Mike Lambeau's first offering of a war game, although he's played a lot of solitaire war games, as he says. And it, it's kind of made for someone that's beginning to get into war games. And this is, a, by my opinion, it's a great place for someone to get into the hobby. Uh, because it's a, it's a good, fun game. And it goes from easy to more difficult. Like, what do we got? Something like 15 scenarios, right? The first scenario is this big right here I'll show you I can get to the um, first scenario is that that's the first scenario and it really kind of is reminiscent of um, a game by SPI and Jim Dunnigan that they used to give away back in the day called Strike Force 1 it, this this scenario is kind of reminiscent of that although the size and the ease of play is where those those uh, Similarities in right. It's this you gotta you're dealing with a lot of easy little tactical rules. It's obviously a tactical game if I didn't mention that. So um, you do have train effects, some train effects, right? You have uh, you got to deal with your morale, right? And um, yeah, you're gonna deal with some of the German facing, right? So the e and let me say this: this is not meant as a negative. This is a positive. There's nothing in this book that a regular war gamer wouldn't recognize as being war game rules. Nothing. It's, I don't think it's anything innovative in that way. But where the smart thing is here. Is what he's done. He's taken some tactical rules, stripped them down to where there is a sort of uh, fluidness of play. That's my problem with tactical games in general. You sometimes you in the lot of tactical games, um, and this would go for miniature games too. A lot of times, in the quest for the minutia. Of battle or the minutia of a tactical situation you lose a lot of the fluidity of combat combat on a tactical level is fluid it's moving it's fast there's not there's a lot of times you don't have a, a lot of time to think right again I've said if you want to know the difference in tactical game versus reality and again it's impossible to recreate platoon level or squad level combat unless you're you're in it. It's impossible to re recreate that. But <laughs> go play ASL or, or even squad leader and then go and um, play a paintball game. I guess people who know how to play. And I'll show you how different that is. How different that is in a, in a paper game and in reality. But this rule set is small enough that you really don't, there's really not going to be, once you get it down, there's not going to be a lot of looking up rules. There's a sort of fluidity that feels right and feels natural, which um, shockingly, like I said, shocked, $15 book game. I wasn't expecting much. And I got a, a lot of bang for my buck here. So, the first scenario, here's the map, of course, I've copied it. It's played with a pencil, all right? Um, of course, I copied it because um, that's just 
what I do. <laughs> I'm never going to be the guy who doesn't, um, who, who write, writes in a book or in a game. I, I have, you know, I mean, I think a lot of us are like that. So let's go to the first scenario, right? And we're going to see. But your role, and he spells it out good, your role is like a, uh, in this scenario, it'd be something, I guess, uh, second Louis. Eh, could be a first Louis, I guess, but <laughs> we're going to say second Louis. So I'm a second, I'm a second lieutenant. In, um, at Normandy, moving toward Con, all right? And so, what we're gonna get here, what do we have? We're the sixth Royal Scott Fusiliers, and we're gonna have a Rifle Squad A and a Rifle Squad B, that's it. Two squads, that's what we're dealing with. And where do you place the squads? You place the squads in any, starting, this tri black triangle is your starting position. Other scenarios, you're going to have more than one starting position. You're going to have a lot more squads. You're going to have mortar team, piot teams. So, uh, but in this one, there's only one place you're going to be able to put your, your, uh, your teams. And that is Rifle Squad A and Rifle Squad B, right? That's and you're gonna have four turns. There's already telling you the first turn um, right there. So it's not the end of the turn, it's the start of the turn you mark, right? And you're gonna use a pencil to go through. Which, and we'll, I'll show you what we do here. Let's go through the sequence of play. So on the sequence of play, place your units in the starting, oh, we already done that, hex is marked with a black triangle. Mark X in the next turn tracker section and not on the first turn that's the turn tracker right here turn tracker right here so it's down it's already marked and now you're gonna roll you're gonna roll for orders I, I do like this as well what does it mean to roll for orders here's your order chart British order chart so let's roll a couple of dice it's a one and a three or a three and a one so one you've got a rally and grenade, okay? Because you got two different, you got your grenades you can use or your rifles you can use, okay? A rally, a grenade. My morale's fine in both teams, okay? Fine. So I don't need a rally and I can't, and I'm not close enough to attack. You have to be in the adjacent hex. The question mark here is what is, uh, Something there we're going to look at, right? We're going, to, we're going to see that's the objective, if you will, and we're trying to scout this out. What what is it? So I can't fire. No need to rally. Okay, so three. You can advance or you can take cover. So uh, hunker down. Uh, so ruffle tape A A is who I rolled for. If I didn't say, we're going to advance. Okay, right. I'll put A here. You pick one of those orders. Each roll, you have two different selections. You pick one of those, unless you roll doubles, then you can roll again or you can take what you want. And I'm gonna roll again for Ruffle Team B, right? So I get a two and a four. So on two, either advance or the scout. And you can scout from two hexes away I'm gonna choose not to scout. I would, but I'm gonna choose not to scout for a very important reason there. And, um, what was it? Two and four was my, okay. And four, I can fire or take cover. Ah! I don't wanna do either of those things. And it's two is advance or scout. I can advance, okay. So advance or scout, I wanna advance. Going to the woods here, Rifle Team B, right? We haven't triggered this, whatever this is. We haven't triggered the objective, triggered the, the German, if you will. So we still don't know what's going on there, right? And so the German does nothing. The objective does nothing there. And um, activate reveal German units. German unit does nothing. It's not been revealed. 
So, that's going to be it. Let me check for wind condition. The wind condition is to win, reveal and clear the German unit before the time runs out, right? So, we'll go to turn two, right? And so, um, by the way, I totally expect to clear this German. Up. <laughs> so if I don't, I'm going to be upset. So we're going to already turn on roll for orders. My teams, team A is first. Two and two, there's doubles. Vance or scout. Man, I'm going to scout this. All right, I want that. No need to re-roll. I'm going to scout this. So enemy unit revealed. What's it going to reveal? So one. Wow, it's a heavy machine gun. I'll tell you why I'm doing that here. It's a heavy machine gun. Well now, a heavy machine gun is facing this hex. It's facing this hex because this is the hex side that I scouted from. It's coming from the left, so I scouted from the left, so it's gonna to turn toward the hex side it's been scouted. Or I could actually put it anyone. If I was to move here, it would be here. But I could, so, and so, is firing range are the two hexes beside it and this one. So, what am I going to do here? Obviously, I'm going to come up here and flank because you do get a flanking bonus. I'm going to try to get up here and flank, right? So I scouted it. What else do? I, okay, a five and a six are my orders I can choose from. Uh, five, fire, or advance. I'm not close enough to fire. I might take that shot if I was close enough. And six is advance or fire. Okay, so I'm going to advance, obviously. Now, I'm in, I'm in a clearing. But, heavy machine gun cannot see me. So, right? He is in woods. But I'm going to get a flanking bonus, and that's going to negate that wood bonus if it was around. All right, so that's it. He's revealed. I'm not adjacent to him. He can't see this one over here. So, obviously, there's no... He's not going to fire. Let me make sure of that. All right. Artillery will fire at every British... Okay, it's artillery. All terrain. Okay. All German will fire at British units in their fire zone. So, not in a fire zone, technically, because I'm not adjacent. But this was the fire zone of the heavy machine gun, right? So there. All right. Two more turns left. I'm going to get to moving. So A. Go for orders on squad A. It's a five and a one. Rally. Or, man. We should have took that on B. But I've already called it A, so that's what it is. Uh, get an advance order, a secondary order. So I am going to move. A. Ruffle team B here. Let's wish I get another one. And I do not. A three and a four. Three and fire. Advance or cover. Fire and cover. So this is a plus one bonus for the heavy machine gun unit. This is a. The German doesn't move. It's um, Normandy. He's dug in. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to fire. I can't use my grenade because it wasn't a one. So I'm going to fire. No bonuses. It's negated. Flanking bonus negates the woods bonus. I need a, a eight plus out of two dice. And I don't get it. Total whiff. Total whiff there. So... Heavy machine gun's gonna fire at squad A. Okay, that's not promising at all. Heavy machine gun, five plus to hit. I do get, it's gonna be a six plus because I get a woods bonus. And he hits. Hits my squad. My squad drops down. And morale 
when a drop squad drops a morale, all they can do is one of the first orders. They can't they can't pick. It's the first one. All right. All right. Last turn. If I don't clear them, I lose here. So I'm gonna roll for order for A and again. The morale, bad morale, the morale, um, it's dropped a morale step, morale step. So it's a two and a three. Two and a three. All I can do is advance. That's all I can do. I can only do what one, uh, One thing, right? The way I one, it's all like all really only choice I got. Actually, uh, I think that's it. I don't think you can move into a German hex. I'll look at that later. But look, that's what we're gonna play right now. I do believe I've read that somewhere. So B. Let's see if I get a one here. I'm gonna roll a one. No, nope. two or a four. It's gonna fire. One hit. I'll take the heavy machine gun out. I need an eight plus. Not gonna do it. The heavy machine gun is gonna get the fire. Needs a six plus. Doesn't do it, but I don't clear. I lose the mission. Done. Lost. Really expected to win that, to be honest with you. I've won it a bunch of times before that, but that's it. Simple mission. Simple. That first one simple. They get. They go up a difficulty. I've played the first few. Um, and I play them until I clear it, and then you move on. I haven't played all of them. Like I guess there's 15. It's definitely worth a shot, worth a look. Surprised by the game. Surprised and pleasantly surprised. It's a good game for 15 bucks. You know, something. I, I played uh, Bismarck Solitaire, which I do. I think this is, a, so far, it's better than Bismarck Solitaire. Crazy to say that, but I think it's better. I think it's funner. Um, more fun, I guess, would be right. Uh, I haven't played Waterloo Solitaire yet. I'll get to that. But, yeah, happy with this book game. I'm really looking forward to anything else by Mike Lambeau. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Whatever you're going to do, be careful on your Saturday. Spring right around the corner, right? February will be start time to plant. So, Everybody have a great day. Be good. Be safe. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.